Hi guys. Um, Viking Ale Review. Okay, this is um, another of the beers that I got from Beers of Europe for less than two quid. This one cost me about £1.60. Um, it's a style that I really like and um, I haven't reviewed too many of these. Um, and it's uh, from the Jacobins Brewery. I think they're based in Belgium. And it's the Jacobins Gers. I think that's how you pronounce Gers or Gerza Lambic. Comes in at 5.5%. And it says um, matured in oak barrels. So, yeah, it'll be quite interesting to try. So it's like. Okay, so there's the lovely crown. To be fair, about an hour ago, I just um, reviewed the uh, the apricot lambic, and that was bloody gorgeous, so sweet. So it'd be good to compare this one to it. So in the glass, it's a nice coppery gold colour. A little bit of a head, so there is some carbonation going on there. Okay, so let's give it a nose. Mmm, that's, that's got quite a pleasant smell. Um, I'm almost getting like a, a spicy sort of pineapple smell. Um, a little bit of gooseberry. Bit of black currant. It's like quite sort of acidic fruits uh, that, I'm get, that I'm getting. Almost like a little bit of um, candy floss or something like that. It's um, it's got some really nice sweet smells. I was expecting it to be a bit sort of smoky or a bit I don't know because it's matured in in oak in oak barrels. So anyway, let's give it a go. See what it's like. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's quite subdued, but it has got a re a quite a long, long, long sort of mellow sourness, which is really nice. Yeah, this is nice. Um, basically, if you've ever heard of Lambic, which is... Um, a sour beer, um, something to do with the fermentation which makes it sour. Um, if you've had anything like the uh, the Cantillons or you know the big boys, then all I can say is this is like a subdued version of that, really. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're getting a nice sort of fruity sourness, um, almost like a like a really sort of small apple, like a crab apple or something like that, something sort of sour and a bit bitey. There's a nice sort of medium carbonation as well. In a way, it tastes like a really tart cider. <laughs> Pardon me. But they're not sort of huge, huge, big hitting flavours. And then you're left with this lovely, long, sour aftertaste, which is, again, not huge. Um, but just nice and, you know, sort of comfortable level. Um, this would be a good, I think this would be a good um, lambic for people who aren't too sure about them or, or want to get into them. Because it's not too over the top. Um, I made actually I made the mistake of jumping in. Of my very first lambic was a, a Cantillon Organic Bio or something like that, which is like pretty big. But I really loved it. I mean, the first time I tried it, I was like, "What's going on here?" And then I just really got into it. But yeah, this is a good little starter. Uh, like I say, it's really cheap on beers of Europe. It's about one pound fifty a bottle or something like that. And it's a good little starting point if you want to start if you want to try a lambic and just see what all the fuss is about. You know, see whether you like them or not, instead of paying out six or seven quid for a bottle of Cantillon and then just deciding that you think it tastes of vinegar. Um, but this is really nice. I like Lambics anyway, um, but it's not the best Lambic I've had by far. Uh, and, you know, for the price, it's good. So, all in all, I'm going to give that a seven out of ten. That's a nice little beer. So, there you have it. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching again, and um, see you guys again soon for a Viking Hour review. Cheers.